Welcome back to Chamber Exchange, a TV show brought to you by Bank Hometown. I know people don't want to acknowledge it, but fall is here. We've already had a couple chilly days, and that means uh, on the other end of that is winter, and that is the topic of, of our second segment. Pleased to have with us Christian Lopez, who is the co-founder of SnowGo. SnowGo. Now, Christian, tell us what SnowGo is all about. Yeah, so SnowGo, uh, our mission, what we're trying to do is connect homeowners and business owners to service providers for a uh, hassle-free snow removal for the winter months. And, and so, you know, there was a day where if we got a snowstorm, you know, you'd wait for some kids to come knock on your door and shovel you out or, you know, um, it's hard. <laughs> a lot of kids don't do that anymore. Right. Uh, it's hard to kind of get every business that is a chamber member or organization, single biggest issue that we hear for them is getting help and services and trying to find people to do stuff. Uh, and snow removal is a big <laughs> issue, right? You right. can't get out the door. You can't move your product or good. So it sounds like you've got a, technolo a technology solution to how you can link up people who need snow removal services with providers. Right, exactly. So if you can imagine just like your, your common uh, service apps on your phone, so like the Ubers, uh, Grubhub, uh, DoorDash, right, you can go on your phone, hit a couple buttons, and uh, it, the app will actually let you know the time in which the service provider will be there. So you can kind of continue your day and then know what time you'll be able to get out of your uh, driveway. So if there's a viewer right now with their phone or their, their, their computer in front of them, they can go and download an app? Yeah, so the app is not uh, available for download now. Not we yet. have our launch event next next, uh, okay. next week, next Thursday. So at the launch event, we will be uh, making the app available for download. So people will be able to download it, and then you, you are out working to pro have providers sign up as well? Yeah, so we have a ton of uh, verbal partnerships right now. We want to wait until they come down to the uh, launch event so everyone can see the app, get excited about it. I'm sure everyone's going to be ready to sign paperwork there. So Right, right. And we know that there, there is, you know, kind of a cottage industry of people, you know, who may be in landscaping during the other season or do other type of work, but in the winter they put the plow on and they're ready and they got the snow blow ready to go and exactly. are looking for, looking for that work. Exactly. And, and uh, just from feedback from the service providers, it's always been uh, kind of tough for them to keep like clientele or something happens or they have to go and knock on the doors to find clientele. So the app provides that for them and then vice versa for the user. They won't have to go and find the service providers. It'll just pop up. So. So for the, the individuals doing the work, you're almost like a business development, you know, uh, a lead ge lead generator. Exactly. And then, and then, you know, for the people that need the work, they don't necessarily have to rely on one person. You know, they have multiple pe people potentially could come and exactly. dig them out, right. snow blow them out, plow them out. Right, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, Christian, you know, what kind of got you uh, into this and, and uh, you kind of a... A techie entrepreneur. What was it that you, you and the, your co-founder kind of right. uh, focused in on this? So um, we, we have some other projects that we've worked on, but originally my, my co-founder's from Boston. I'm from New York. We both ended up at Fitchburg State. So if you can imagine coming from the city, we're, we're used to maybe shoveling a car out, uh, yeah. maybe the front tire just so that we can drive out. So uh, when I got my house after college, right, my fiance's kind of hitting me on the shoulder like, hey, you need to go go take care of the snow before it gets too heavy right my first time you know that there's a lot going on so i'm trying to wave down uh, uh plowers driving by and everything so it's just there has to be an easier way so we've just been kind of working on it since then so and the app's just finally ready to go so a, a big launch coming up at the, at the white room and, and you, that's where you're going to try to announce to the world that this app is available and and kind of work on building that uh, the, the cadre of, of providers. Yeah, exactly. Um, we're super excited for the uh, for the launch event. Um, we have about 150 people registered to be down there. Everyone's excited about it. We're, we're just excited to show everyone what the app looks like. Everyone will be able to use it, ask any questions, and we're, we're going to be getting users and service providers on yeah. it from there. So when you, you, know, you mentioned how this idea kind of popped into your head as you were trying to right. struggle with the, the snow. and. Um, technology background or was it just an idea that you said okay we'll engage with people who kind of know the app computer world and and uh, right. what was it like kind of put this kind of entrepreneurial idea together right so it, it's funny um they say when you go to college you usually don't actually end up in the field that you went to college for so I actually majored in criminal justice and psychology um, 
you know, I ended up uh, doing some quarterback development work, so realized I was good at marketing and bi business development. Uh, partnered with uh, my, my partner, co-founder of Snowgo, Rafael DeFeo. We've done a couple projects, and this was just the next, the latest thing that we've been working on. Right, so. right. But so with your other background, you needed to kind of work with somebody on the technical piece and the whole process of getting an app. Right, exactly. Being able to get it listed so people can download it. Exactly. The whole process. There. Right, right. So we have a whole team of people. There's probably about 12 of us that's just like doing different things to make sure uh, the app's working. We have people excited about it, getting ready for the launch event. So. Right. And when you think of like how some of these things generate, I mean, it's, you know, you mentioned Uber and Lyft and these types of things. You've got Angie's List, all these things. Right. I mean, where, and you're just kind of... Saying, hey, we got a kind of a New England Northeast problem and right. Midwest, this thing could go big. Right. And I, I don't want to shovel personally. So, you know, this solves my personal problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's that's uh, what it's what it's all about. Right. So uh, the event on the 5th uh, and I know you're working with a team there on the publicity piece and you, you know, then it's just kind of about getting the word out and, and, and trying to. Yep. Do the marketing and advertising. Yep, I'm super excited. Um, we have a, a Yeti, so if anyone has seen this, uh, there's a big abominable snowman mascot that we have walking around Worcester with a huge snow go logo, maybe carrying a sign that uh, that says, I hate shoveling. So that that's us, if you've seen that at all. So the yeah. launch will be kind of the, the rollout of the whole marketing program. Exactly. So, so people see a Yeti, it's Bigfoot's alive, yep. and, and snow go, <laughs> and, uh, and, and the name too. Yep. Yep. And it, I, the name is kind of self-evident but I what 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 led you was it just um, hone in on that we just some brainstorming sessions about different names um and then you know there's always that process of of trying to find the name that's not being used somewhere else right, and right. that whole thing so yeah we just we just landed on snow go took a vote and yeah and it stuck so and we got to get the, you get your pull there we go snow go winter made easy you got there the, we go the logo and everything so Christian, this is great. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there can't wait to the launch and find out about the app. We'll help try to get it out. And you were part of the Chamber's Startup Worcester program, which uh, cohort, which is about trying to help businesses as they uh, go about uh, launching and being successful. All right, super excited about that. We actually have an event today, so uh, yeah. Good, the Startup Worcester program, uh, good, good stuff. So if somebody, is there a website or anything right now people can go to? Well, yep. well, so everything, um, all of the tags is snowgo.app. The website is snowgo.app. YouTube, snowgo.app. Instagram, snowgo.app. Snowgo.app. All right, excellent. Christian, looking forward to a great idea. Thank you. Appreciate it. Stay with us. Uh, we're going to come up with our final segment. We'll stay with the winter theme with Worcester Railers hockey coming up as well. These days, you've got your hands full in life. That's why we help you bank simply and securely with tools like Face ID and Touch ID. It's why we make it easy to make purchases on the go and get cash back while you're at it. Why we help you quickly deposit checks wherever you are. And it's why we lend a hand with sending and receiving money right from your phone. So even when you're on the move, you can manage your finances. Bank Hometown. Unlock your potential. This is Radio Worcester. Local talk, local news, local events. We got it, and we've got opinions that you're going to want to hear. That Worcester will be thought of and spoken about. We're live every morning, 6 to 10 a.m., and if you can't catch us then, you can find us online day and night at RadioWorcester.com. This is your town. This is your morning show. Talk of the Commonwealth with Hank and Ben.